Katalin Galambosch. She is a research fellow here at IAS. She is also a special education needs teacher, employment counselor. Her intention to, uh, is to build uh, bridges among different sectors and the uh, non and for profit sphere in order to contribute full and effective participation of persons with disabilities in the society on an equal basis with everyone. She has finished her studies in the Doctoral School of Education at uh, Alte University. Her current research areas are sustainability, resilient operations, service networks in the social sector. Uh, Katalin, uh, thank you so much for, for being with us and the floor is yours. Thank you, Ivana. And uh, thank you, Mr. Briggs, uh, for your uh, first presentation because it was so motivating for me because I do believe deeply uh, in diversity in education and uh, the other thing I would like to mention before my presentation is that I think the education is a big wheel which which was always so hard uh, to follow the the everyday changes uh, for the educational field and we are always <laughs> behind something and not proactively changing the education field before so maybe education is not resilient we should say because if, if you think behind the word resilience is uh, proactivity or thinking before. So during the last days, we were mentioned several challenges uh, we face with, such as climate change, migration, food and water security. But I think uh, future of education is one of the biggest uh, challenges uh, of the world nowadays. And after, at the end of the presentation, I will, uh, I will have a question about it. Um, but first of all, there are some indicators in the field of education, which I think uh, very important. Uh, data is also came up several times during this week. Uh, sometimes we hate data, but it shows and predicts lots of information uh, and knowledge for us. First of all, I want to show you uh, these three meaningful uh, charts. Uh, first one is on the top of the left corner, which shows the increasing world population. We all know about it. And uh, there is also a prediction for uh, uh, later, so not, not just nowadays, but, uh, but later on. The other chart, which you can see uh, the, that yellow uh, on the top, is uh, the out of school, school children uh, of primary school age by word uh, regions. And if they are out of school in that age, that means that they won't be able to, to be in the universities or in the secondary le levels or, or later on. And last but not least, the third one is the number of adults with no education by region, uh, which is uh, lower and lower, but it's still uh, very high in Africa and Asia and all the other um, uh, countries. And uh, there is only one more thing I would like to point out, that there are great uh, disparities. As you can see, the political, the economic, the social, cultural, uh, cultural ethnic, and religious are the, the most um, essential uh, ones. And uh, there, there is one more chart. There's the global adult literacy rate aged uh, 15 years and older. And you can see from 1976 till 2018, that made by the, the World Bank. And um, it's getting better and better, we should say. So uh, something is... Um, is okay with that, but as you can see, it's always less uh, on the female uh, population uh, than than in the um, in the male. Uh, and uh, I just would like to have some more basis information just to start this conversation for today. That uh, the Universal Declaration of Human Rights since 1948, and it's still a topic that there are human rights, and when human rights is the Article 26 is education. So everyone has the right to education and it shall be free at least in the elementary and secondary uh, stages and it must be equally accessible for all of us. So diversity, can, if it's equally accessible, we can reach diversity and diversity can let us to, to follow the challenges of nowadays and future in my uh, opinion. There is one other thing which already mentioned during that four days, that's the sustainable development goals. Uh, and uh, you can see the, the red points, uh, poverty and poverty and education goes along. 
uh, in line with together. So we have to listen to those populations living in, in, in poverty. And to ensure to 2030 all people enjoy peace and prosperity is all of us responsibility. And we, uh, we also mentioned this uh, during the, the, I think it was uh, two days before, that responsibility is, is all of us. Uh, quality education is the fourth in the developmental uh, goals. And uh, again, to ensure inclusive and equitable e quality education and promote lifelong learning opportunities for all. I would like to highlight some other targets from the SDGs. Uh, please allow me to highlight them because they are so important. Uh, we already, I already talked about the, the education which must be free and the, and, uh, the universal literacy and numeracy is, is very, very essential. But uh, as Mr. Briggs already mentioned, the, the teachers, the educators, the managers of the education field is also mentioned in the, in the S SDGs and um, expand higher education scholarships for development, uh, developing countries uh, and also in the higher education is one of the SDG topics which I think I ask is, uh, is trying to, to promote this or, or um, to fulfill this, uh, this target. Uh, so increasing the supply of qualified teachers in, also in the developing uh, countries is, um, is crucial. If we go on, um, and we are talking about future of education, I just pointed out the four most uh, relevant parts for me, and these are human rights, shared responsibility, lifelong process, because education must be a lifelong process for all of us, and the inclusive settings, because inclusive setting is, uh, is, uh, can provide diversity and uh, equal um, opportunities for everyone. If we look some closer to the competencies for lifelong learning and for the competencies we may need for the future to, uh, to solve the future challenges, of course, literacy competence is the first one because everyone, everything begins with that one. But I just would like to highlight one more, the entrepreneurial competence for you. Because in that competence, if we have enough uh, people in the population with that competence, which is not easy to, to succeed, then maybe the social challenges can be solved. And, uh, and so I think this is, this is the competence we should uh, focus on uh, in the educational uh, fields. And of course, all the others are very important, but I think this one is the one which uh, mentioned uh, much rarely than, than all the, all the uh, others. I won't read all these quotes for you, but I think uh, let the quotes just flew through you because these are very, very um, interesting uh, quotes. Those who wrote them are um, really thought about something about um, education. And last but not least, uh, I have a question. Will education help us find solutions to the challenges of today and tomorrow? And as Mr. Briggs said, what can we do for that personally, organizationally, uh, or as a society in small and bigger uh, uh, areas? Thank you for your attention. <laughs>